And in the first video, we talked about how with this basic control panel, I could set up an initial mode. In this case, I've got it resized and repositioned with various oscillators on the horizontal and vertical. And uh, if I go from initial to final, it makes the transition. Now I've got a new wrinkle I've added this time, which is using this rotation controller. The rotation controller allows the raster by swapping the X and Y with a sine and a cosine to do rotations. And of course we can vary the speed of the rotation so ideally, in this case, we want it to go from initial to final in about the same speed as this transition we have up here. So it makes a nice, everything lands at the same time. So the great thing about it is that it's all knobs. You can sit here and adjust the knobs and see there the animation of the oscillators finished before the rotation finished. There the rotation finished a little bit before the other one. And so if I just turn the knob just the right amount, they come out perfectly. Now, this particular piece of artwork I have here came from a little, it's actually, I guess, the only digital thing in here. Uh, besides this camera, but it, I just use it to generate quick and easy artwork. The original Scanimate had high resolution cameras and a light table and we used to make Codolith artwork. It's real high contrast that basically gives you the same kind of effect. You notice that I've got several different lines of type here. One of the improvements that was made with the Scanimate as they expanded beyond this basic panel was they said, wow, we can move all these words around. What if we wanted to move them one at a time? So what I'm doing now is what's called sectioning. So, and I've got uh, some things not zeroed here. Okay, so let me get my final position now lined up using sectioning. It looks like my intensity on section two is a little bright. Okay, so now with these commutators, there's basically five of every parameter. And by setting these line counters, I can say, all right, I want the first 130 scan lines to be controlled by section one. And there I'm setting its final position. And then 200 to 300 is going to be controlled by section two. And maybe that's where I want it to end up. But then I can have different animation for my two sections. If I can find myself, I'm lost in space here. Okay, so in this case, since we're applying the same waveforms to both section one and section two, they look pretty similar. But for example, I could make the size of one of them see what the best way to do that's going to be. Okay, so that one you can't really read at all. You just see the sine and the cosine, but as it resolves, <laughs> we don't have our angles zeroed here. Initial to final section two. So there you see I've got a different rotation on section one and section two. And again, I can adjust the speed of those to make them time out just about the way I want them to. So that's just a basic overview of rotation and what happens with segmenting. You know, I can make as many segments as I would like 
and uh, end up having more, having control of each line of that type there. So in this case, I just made it nice and simple to be able to explain it to you. Uh, so in the next video, we'll talk a little bit about departing from this and getting over into this section which is where we can assign a lot of these signals to different parameters and we can create our own waveforms over here and do a lot of more interesting things than this. This is just like how it started. It's just a nice simple way to make something interesting with letters and words that you know people will kind of respond to and think, hey, that's pretty neat. And back in the day, that was, for a long time, that was the major trick that Scanimate could do. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I look forward to your comments, and uh, we'll pick up from here on the next video.